What's up guys, thanks for checking out the video. In this episode I'm going to be talking about my entry for a contest over at My Mini Factory. Um, the contest is sponsored by Arcane Minis and the prompt called that you had to print and paint one of their models of the airship designs and the specific design that I chose to print and paint was the uh, Feather Class Sky Coach. Um, I wanted to make mine a little bit, my entry a little bit different, meaning that I wanted to make it suitable and safe for my fish tank. Um, basically with the idea being that the airship took a nosedive underwater and then what, how it would navigate with aquatic life. So that was kind of my inspiration of when I came up with the idea of how I want to do the color scheme and then uh, final stages of putting on an epoxy coat and making it safe for the fish tank. Um, in later videos I'll be showing my process of how I printed out all the parts, painted everything, then put on the epoxy coat, and then at the end you'll see it actually in the fish tank. So be sure to stick around, and if you like the video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, give it a subscribe to the channel. Um, it really helped me out, and uh, be sure to leave comments what you think of the model itself over at Arcane Minis, or also on my page over at My Mini Factory, because there is a current contest going on, and uh, fingers crossed. So we'll see how everything goes, but be sure to stick around. All right, so I went ahead and bought the Feather Class Sky Coach. Um, you know, I'm happy to support Arcane Minis that they're doing this competition, and uh, it was only $20 for this model, which isn't bad at all. So I downloaded the files, and I think I have a game plan of how I'm gonna sort out these prints. Um, so I have a Craftbot XL, and I'm slicing right now in the Craftware um, slicer. It's just the slicer that came with the Craftbot. And um, since I've got a pretty big build volume, I think I'm going to be able to print this hull all in one piece. Originally I was thinking maybe I'd have to split it in two, or um, lay it on its side and do it in two parts, but I think it's a big enough, uh, or the printer is big enough, then it'll be able to handle it. And the support material you'll see here is not too intense, I mean, it's going to be a little bit of work to remove that support material, but there'd be support material even if I did it just in two halves. Um, but it was nice when I was looking at the um, folder from the download file. Um, they've split it up in all different parts, so it, um, depending on your size of the printer. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to print the hull on my FDM printer, the Craftbot XL. And then for the more detailed pieces, I'm probably going to use one of my resin printers, um, just because it has the finer details. But yeah, I'm just going to get this started and see how it goes. Alright, check it out. The hull of the ship just finished printing and it took about 27 hours, but as you can see the detail on it is so cool. There's like all the little swirls and all the designs on the side of the ship. Um, so I still got to remove the support material and get it all cleaned up, but so I'll throw in a little time lapse of me doing that. But super excited this all was printed in one piece on the Craftbot XL printer. And now I'm going to work on printing out the other pieces and assembling the rest of the print. Then once it's all assembled, I'll start painting. Okay, now that I cleaned everything up and removed all the supports, I'm going to glue the ship onto the stand and then start priming and painting.
right guys, check it out. I just finished painting it and it looks so sweet. I'm so excited with how it turned out. It took me a bit longer than I would like to admit. Maybe like two weeks or so of painting and then a week and a half before that of printing everything out and gluing it together. But I'm so happy with how it turned out. You know, I wanted to spend a lot of time on this model just so that I could get all the nooks and crannies just with how much detail was put into this um, airship model that it's gonna look so cool in my fish tank. And speaking of the fish tank, my next steps are I'm gonna coat this with a clear coat epoxy that is safe for aquariums and is gonna be safe for my fish that I'm putting in with it. Um, and I'm using the poly gem epoxy and basically how it works is it's uh, in two parts. You have to mix two parts of resin with a one part of hardener mix it together and then I'm gonna brush it on to the finished model. And uh, as I mentioned, I got it from Polygem. And if you wanna read up the specs on this, it's I sent an email and confirmed with them that this is safe for fish tanks. And they said, yeah, this is the product that we use in our zoo, in zoos and aquariums. So it's safe for the fish, good for, um, good for the aquarium. And, um, yeah, basically when I'm gonna be painting this on, I'm gonna be using a mask, gloves, pop it open some windows, just doing so in a safe way. Um, but this uh, epoxy has some great qualities too because it's gonna make it easy to clean as well. And it also seals all the paints and everything that I used in this model set so as good and safe for the, uh, the aquarium. So next steps, I'm gonna be putting this on and then I'm also gonna take some photos in my light box. So. We're getting, to, we're getting close to the finish line. All right, so after I put on the epoxy coat, I let it cure for 48 hours and now it is safe and ready for me to put into the fish tank. It also looks pretty shiny too with the top coat. It adds a nice glossy layer to it. Um, but now, yeah, we're all good to go and put it into the fish tank because now it's safe, everything's sealed in, and uh, should be good to go. All right, so I got the tank all set up and it looks so cool. Uh, quick thing, I had to swap out my camera because normally I use my Canon camera over by my computer and I'm using my Sony at the moment just because it's more portable on a tripod. Um, but I've got the model inside the tank and it's all set up. I don't have any fish in yet because I'm still uh, letting the water run its course and make sure the pH levels and everything is correct before introducing fish into the aquarium. But I've introduced some plants and I've got the water conditioned. I'm gonna be adding some bacteria, get the cycle going and uh, just making sure it's safe and ready for the fish. Um, and then once I do, I'll update the next video once I uh, have everything all set up. All right guys, check it out. The fish tank is all set up and done. I've got, uh, I added a couple more plants and look, we actually have some fish in here now. Um, this one right here, her name is Banana Split. She's pretty active and uh, looks like she's enjoying her new home. Um, so one thing I do wanna say that I forgot to mention earlier, um, what was really great about this airship model, when I put the model into the fish tank, it just wanted to float right up to the top being that the plastic is pretty light and buoyant. Um, so one thing that was great about this model was when, since it has such a large base, I was able to weigh down the ship with the gravel. So when I put it down, I just buried it below the gravel, pushed it on top and it's rock solid. It's not going anywhere. Um, so that's one thing I'll definitely keep in mind for any future projects with uh, my fish tank or if you guys have any future projects that you're thinking about, keep that in mind that the plastic just wants to float to the top and to be sure to weigh it down or find some way to uh, be able to hold it down. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll leave you with a couple more shots of uh, some close-ups of the fish enjoying the tank. And uh, thanks again for watching. If you like it, give it a like, give it a subscribe to the channel. And uh, I mentioned that it's also part of an entry over on My Mini Factory. So if you enjoyed the video, go give it a like, give it a, um, 
leave a comment below on the My Money Factory page. It really helped me out. And uh, I guess stay tuned for the next one.